Hey there, Legion. It's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Frostpunk in our The Tragedy of Winter Home series. So, thanks to a helpful commenter on the first episode, I noticed something that the game did not do a very good job of pointing out to me, which is that there's an exclamation, exclamation point, words, <laughs> uh, over this set of ruins. This is where the child is trapped. I was kind of wondering what was going on with that because the game wasn't giving me much control over it, but it also didn't say, unless I just missed it, you know, that there, there will be a marked point where this, you know, child will be, you know, kind of shown. So, before I do anything else, I've got some materials. I'm going to build a new gathering post if I can. I might not be able to. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to in the area of this kid. So what we're going to have to do is just assign some workers to it and hope that they can clear it out in time. Uh, I don't know that they'll be able to unless some of the other ruins nearby are being worked, in which case we'd be able to build a, um, a gathering post in the space that those are occupying. And it doesn't look like that's going to be the case, which is unfortunate. So I didn't realize that was there. We might not save that kid. If that happens, we might get kicked out by the townspeople here. I hope that doesn't happen, but that's kind of... It's kind of looking like it might go that direction. We are at the beginning of a new work day. Oh, hello. I need to assign some engineers to this medical post. Let me make sure that these are fully heated. Yep. Well, these are the ones that I turned the heaters off on before, so I need to make a decision on, like, am I happy with that level of heating? Maybe I am. Maybe for the time being, I need to be conservative. Yes, this is winter home. But Winter Home was clearly crappily designed, and we need to just make sure that, I, that, that everything is on the up and up. So let's take a look around at our heat map here. These are mostly ruins over in this area. They're slowly getting taken down, but we have a lot more work to do. We have several workers that are available. One of the things I would like to do, though, as I begin this episode is continue to build medical posts wherever there are possible areas for medical posts. Uh, if I point to this, it'll show me where the existing ones are. There's one up there. And I think I would do well to establish some more. Yeah, see, I can do a couple here. I just want to have places for people to stay while they're sick, because we don't... I mean, I'm researching more scouts right now, but the number of six, sick people, not six people, the number of sick people is going to cause discontent. I believe. Um, the main cause of discontent is the um, the coldness at home, which we're going to work on. And we do have a promise broken as well. But, I mean, reducing this will clearly make people happier, I think. So, it's going to take some engineers to work these, and eventually I might actually delete them and put something else in their place. But we just have so many sick people, on account of the fact that we're trying to clear all these ruins and people are cold, that we just we need a place for people to stay and get better. And so we're going to put a couple of more medical centers in place. It's more than I typically do in a playthrough of Frostpunk, but we're going to we're going to do it anyway because I said so. So with that done, let's see what else needs to be cleared out. Oh, also, I need to build a second watchtower, don't I? Let's see. So we have one there. We could probably build another in this area ish or we can build one back here in this kind of corner of the city. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of building one here, and then when there are more homes in this area, it can kind of be surrounded by homes. Or build one here. Oh, that's that's it. That's the perfect spot. We're going to put you there, and we'll have people working that in just a moment. That will raise hope when that goes up. So hopefully that will change things for the better as we begin here. Let's go to speed... Uh, mm, let's go to speed two. We are almost done with... Oh good, more ruins are being depleted, more scouts have been researched, so without further ado, let's go ahead and create a new scout team. Uh, we have one scout team that is five hours away from the Barren Hollow. This scout team I'm going to send to Freshwater Springs, Dreadnought, Rock Formation, or... Tell you what, go to the weather station. Go that direction, please and thanks. Let's see, and we need to pick a new research project. Can do. So, lighter scout sleds is something I would really be interested in pursuing, but 
Now we, we've got so much we need to build and I just need to make sure I stay on top of it. The medical post upgrade seems like it needs to be my next priority. So we need to wait till we have four wood. As a matter of fact, hang on, I've got a number of workers that were just freed up by virtue of the fact that... Alright, so that gathering post is taking care of all of those. can see where people are working and then hopefully this will get cleared out before long people aren't doing a good job of coming in here and actually getting this done one thing we could do to make this easier it would increase my coal intake we could build steam hubs it would make it easier for people to work in this area while the ruins are being taken down and eventually the steam hub could support other types of buildings as well so why don't we at least do that to support them. It's going to take a minute. And then that watchtower is being built. Very good. We have a couple of new medical centers being built. And again, we're waiting on that wood. Good. More wooden ruins depleted. That will at least help them get that done faster and not get as sick doing it. And several other locations in the area. I'm going to stay just on speed one. Okay. Now it's time to select a new research project. Medical post upgrade. Go. Now, what else can I do resource building wise those ruins are still being cleared but I feel like there was at least one location on the outside of town that was ready for interesting this is an outpost depot but it has oh no it's an outpost just looks different oh it's cool I like that it's different than the ones you saw in the original game look at that it's got a big old spotlight. I can't... That's about as close as I can get to it without it zooming too far, but... That's really nice. But what I want to see is... If there are any locations that are able to support... Hang on. Yeah, are there, like, are there any, like, wall drill locations, or are we still working on clearing everything out? I guess we're still working on clearing everything out, so... What I want to know is where my coal guy is. Alright, so this medical post needs to open up. There's only one engineer available at the moment. I've got to find more engineers. Hang on. I'll bet I can find some ruins that are being worked by engineers. Just going through all my ruins and seeing... Maybe not. There are lots of ruins that aren't being worked at all, at present. Tell you what, let's go ahead and have more people jump in on the ruins in the area of the kids. That are trapped in that rubble. Alright, well I don't quite have the engineers to fully staff these new medical posts yet. I thought we would have more engineers freed up from other jobs. I mean, I know I have engineers, so is it possible that they're just in a job where I could have them do something else? Let's have a look. Right, I know I have zero idle engineers. Okay, cool. So when I select this, it'll tell me... Oh, that's very nice. Good to know. It'll tell me where my engineers are. So we've got some in the workshops, I know that much. They're they're all used up, I guess. They're working in the workshops and in the... Uh, yeah, they are used up. We have no more engineers to speak of. That's unfortunate. Didn't see that coming. Really? No more? None at all. Well, we're going to need to research the infirmary then. All right. More ruins getting depleted. We have lots of people coming available to work, but they're all workers. Let's go ahead and step up to speed two. And then, yeah, see, this one can't be worked right now. So there wasn't really much point in building it. This gathering post is waiting for workers. Is there... Oh, it's not connected to the road. Silly me. That's been sitting there for a while telling me it's not connected. Or maybe the road was still under construction. Who knows? 
mild frostbite. A citizen became gravely ill. That's not good. What have we here? One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. Yes, I saw that. This will keep happening if people have to go to work in such cold. The question is, how's the kid doing? We still have 22 to dig out. Crap. Divided in death. Sir, we've noticed that the dead in the snow pit have been divided into two heaps. In one lie the victims of the fires and the brutal attempts to pacify the riots, many with gunshot wounds. On the other, the charred corpses of the perpetrators, the previous leader and his men. Some people talk about throwing them out of the city far away from decent folk. Um, we can get this filth out of our city, or we can say they've already paid for their crimes. Hope will rise slightly. Let's say they've already paid for their crimes. We need hope to rise so we don't get kicked out. All right, and I have a lot of available workers, so let's keep this going. First of all, yeah, there's ruins around the... Um, yeah, around the generator here. We can definitely afford to work those. And then there's ruins that are nearby. All right, so... All of these are being worked, I think. That steam hub will help people stay warm. We're going to turn it off during non-working hours. Let me go around and make sure that all steam hubs are operating on those same rules. As, as long as they are. Yeah, see, this one is supporting... Yeah. It's working hours only, so is that one. So is that one. And do these have people working them? No, they don't. There's... I'm still finding ruins in the areas of these that... There we go. Need to get those cleared out as much as we can. I'm really nervous that I'm going to get kicked out if something else terrible happens. Need to remove at least 30 ruins. We're up to 22. I'm assuming that will give me a big boost. Oh, we need to man that watchtower. Silly me. We have no available workers. Hang on. That's easily fixed. Got distracted by the um, by the issue with the medical posts. Oh well. Hope is still kind of crappy, and people are still really cold. Only 17 hours left, coal-wise. Um, what's going on with the coal mine? Why don't I have another shipment on the way? That's my next question. Medical post upgrade is almost done. Thank God. Awesome. Got it done within the day. Let's pause and see what else we can do. So, researching the infirmary, that seems like a really, really good idea. But we are having trouble with our coal at the moment. So should I go ahead and go for the steam coal thumper? I feel like that's probably the best idea to have that done as soon as possible because that's what's really helped us with our coal in recent playthroughs. Scouts have reached the Barren Hollow. Explore? Ah, oh, dang it. They just found the Shrouded Cave. It doesn't lead anywhere else. All right, we'll go to the Shrouded Cave then. Our other scouts are seven hours away from finding anything interesting. All right, and back here we have a gathering post. So let's go ahead and have them work. It's plenty warm. So they will clear out those ruins. And that gathering post will also help bring in coal from this location. All right, steel ruins have been depleted. We have a number of people that we can reassign to other jobs. Again, I'm going to go around to the steam hubs and see where there are ruins that maybe aren't being worked. If any. That's not really far from the steam hub, but... Or that's not close to the steam hub, but uh, I'm going to work that one anyway. We're really starting to clear out space in the city, which is nice. We have 16 hours left. We're on steam level 2 at the moment. We could go to 3, but no, actually no, we couldn't, in all honesty, because of what I just said. We don't have the coal to justify taking in that much. 
Our hunters should go out overnight. Good. Scouts have reached the weather station. Oh, survivors! Explore. The weather station is manned by several engineers, yay, who use an array of instruments to monitor the air temperature, wind force, and direction, and atmospheric pressure changes. On the basis of this data, they prepare weather forecasts. We could use these engineers in the city to help with a generator, but if we close the weather station, we'll lose the weather forecasts. Well, it's going to keep getting colder, I can tell you that much, says the chief meteorologist. So we've discovered the lone boulder. We can send the engineers to the city, or we can bring them to the city. But we'll no longer have weather forecasts. I don't even know what weather forecasts do. I mean, yes, I know what they do in the original game, but there's not actually a mechanic called weather forecasts in the base game of Frostpunk. So, tell you what, I want those engineers, don't get me wrong, I, I want them bad, but I would rather leave them at their post because I want to see what that's all about. So I'm going to make that sacrifice. A very optimistic decision, hopefully it won't ruin me. Oh wait, hang on. We have to send you elsewhere, don't we? Go to the lone boulder, figure out what that is. Why is it alone? All right, five more workers to work those steel ruins. Let me triple check my steam hubs here. I just want to make sure none of them are running that don't need to be. All right, that one's off. That one's on. That one's on. That one's off. That one's off. That one's off. And this one is... needs to be on. Okay, good. Let's go to let's go to uh, speed three and get through the night here. We need to turn on heaters for the watchtower, I suppose. They seem pretty cold. Six hours left of coal. We do have a coal shipment incoming. Thank God. Scouts have reached the Shrouded Cave. The entrance to the cave is hidden from view and shielded from the prevailing wind. Alright, we've got some raw food there. That's nice. The cave is deep and surprisingly warm. There's even a freshwater source here. A perfect place for a hideout. I think this is where they found the kids in the original story. Alright, let's go straight to the freshwater springs. I'm hoping we find more survivors, more engineers. Otherwise, we might, just, might have just screwed ourselves. But we can get an infirmary going, and that'll help, too. Alright. Work time begins. How are we doing on the kid? Okay, we have... It's going to be about three hours, so by noon, we might get him out. Crush fingers. And that should, I imagine, help with hope. <laughs> I would think that would help restore a little bit of hope if we find the kid trapped under the ruins. Good. Lots of ruins getting depleted. We're freeing up space. You can see the space getting freed up all around. People are really cold, though. Also, we have a lot of a lot of wood. There's got to be something I can do with that. Like, maybe upgrade houses? <laughs> that could be helpful for cold people. Let's see. Alright, that's a huge jump. I'm going to let people... Alright, scouts have reached the lone boulder. I'm going to let them just go and build stuff. I'm not going to do anything as far as reassigning workers right now, because I want free workers so they can build. Okay, hasn't found anything. I found the steel bridge, though. Hey! What could be at the steel bridge? This might be our first chance to alter uh, cannon. Bring back an automaton. What's this? Little survivor. <gasps> Sir, we pulled the child out of the ruins. He's the sole survivor of his family. He's badly burned and will die without proper medical attention, and we can't provide it yet. <sighs> Damn it. All right. Oh, man. All right. Most ruins cleared. Most of the charred skeletons that marred Winterhome are gone. The countless hours of toil put into the removal paid off. People are no longer constantly reminded of the night of terror and chaos. Well done. 
So we've removed the 30 ruins. We need to raise hope to 50% and reduce discontent to 25. And we need to convince people to trust us again within 19 hours. In the wake of recent child workers' accidents, the parents argue that we should give working children double rations to help them uh, to help make them stronger and help prevent injuries. A uh, hope will rise if we say that working children will eat double rations. Fine, let's do Well, hello. Loud noise next to my recording space. Oh, I know what that was. <laughs> Something that just fell in my apartment. One second, I'm making a note of that timestamp. I know exactly what that was. You restore the hope in our people's hearts. Hope rises. Yay. Okay, so we are no longer getting kicked out, but we still have work to do. Let's um, finish with people's homes. All right, Book of Laws. We can continue to raise hope if we go into purpose. Hang on. We can do morning gathering. Morning gatherings will slightly raise hope from time to time. Or... Moonshine. Every meal slightly lowers discontent, and eating soup causes less discontent. Let's do moonshine, because we need to reduce discontent. I'm glad that we've restored the city. We have seven days left to do that. Alright. I'm, I'm like super nervous. I feel like something's going to go horribly wrong. Steam coal thumper researched. Alright, with that done... I think we need to go ahead and change the efficiency of the generator. And we don't have 20 steel to do it. Of course we don't. Why would I expect something as simple as that? Or as straightforward as that? Steam steel works? Yeah, let's go ahead and research that. We're probably going to need more steel sooner than later. Alright, those are already being worked. Alright, there's only one gathering post in the area of this coal thumper. There needs to be more than one. So we can gather more coal. Hang on, I'm looking at where the other gathering posts are. Alright, so there's one for those ruins. Is it really just those three? Okay, well, <laughs> I know what I need to build now. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to destroy wood in the area, but I think I'm going to just deal with it. And then another gathering post over by the other coal thumper, because there's a second one, right? Where is it? Where's the other coal thumper? Right here. Yeah. Just want to make absolutely sure I wasn't. Oh, cool. Little sign says mess hall. Love the little details. Uh, gathering post. Do, 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 do. Uh, well, is that close enough? I feel like that, that might not be close enough. Might need to wait to build that one. Wooden ruins depleted. I'm, again, when people finish with ruins right now, I'm going to let them just go and build homes. Because it's kind of needed. Speaking of homes. And then we can still upgrade these to houses once we have the technology to do so. A little bit more cheaply. What do we have here? Timely intervention. Sir, a child climbed the generator, slipped and fell, but was thankfully caught by a neighborhood watch who was put, who was on patrol nearby. He then escorted the child to his mother and gave them both a good talking to it. Could have ended with a broken leg or worse if it weren't for our watchman, a neighbor uh, commented. We're lucky to have them. I'm glad it ended well. That is good news. Yeah, we've got a lot of free workers now, but I, I really... I'm looking at this steam hub here. I guess I will go ahead and put a few more people to work. No, not houses, just bunk houses. I need to see where else I might need to do upgrades, if anywhere. I think I've upgraded all the tents. Oh, wait, no, hang on, there's more. Glad I double-checked. Alright, so there's one more tent that I need to fix. I think that'll do it. We're out of steel, yes I know. So you can see we have a lot of homeless at the moment, but that's because we're upgrading every single house in the city, pretty much. Alright, discontent is officially below 25%. 
People are gravely ill, though. That's the problem. All right. 15 hours left of coal. I think I think we just had coal dropped off. Where is our guy? Yeah, that's already been dropped off. That's a shame that it's taken so long. All right, steam still works. All right, so we need to do... That hasn't been built yet, but it needs to be built. What else can we do? Hang on, can I go ahead and upgrade a steelworks building? Yes, I can. Oh, hello, there is another location where I can build steelworks. Good! I thought I'd seen one earlier. I knew I wasn't crazy. All right, let's go ahead and get the new steelworks underway. Oh, hang on, and we might be able to set up a new research project if we're lucky. Steam sawmill. Or maybe the steam wall drill will be best. Let's do the steam wall drill first. We don't have the engineers for this medical post. We still don't. It makes me so mad because we've got so many cold people, but I'm hoping that these housing upgrades at least help people feel better to a certain extent. We do have some hunger issues, it seems, as well. More sick beds needed. Captains, oh, thank you, Captain Obvious. Some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. They're asking you to address the problem. I will open a new medical post. I promise the sick will be treated. We don't have an infirmary yet. I mean, a new medical post isn't going to do any good. We don't have... Hmm. You have three days to admit one-third of the sick to treatment. Let's, let's try this. It's a little risky, but let's try it. And with that, not to leave you on a cliffhanger, but I'm going to stop this one here. In the next one, we are going to see how that promise plays out. Because I feel like the next project I'll be able to go for after the steam wall drill is going to be the infirmary. And then I'll build that, and hopefully it'll be... See, I, I, I don't know if I'll be able to do it within three days, but once we have the infirmary, that should really help a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. So um, hopefully that wasn't a mistake. But we're going to continue to try and raise hope in other means, or, or by other means, in the meantime. And we also, uh, we're going to have a new gathering post operating soon, so that's going to help us bring in more coal during the day. So hopefully we won't continue to almost run out of coal. And, uh, yeah. Work's cut out for us. Cross your fingers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.